You know, what is science other than spirituality explored through the human mind using the brain? The mind itself is the mind, but the human mind is operated through the brain using the universal mind. Okay, now science itself is just spirituality doing that. And the reason we believe science and scientists so much is because you need to be able to figure something out, explain it, and show evidence of it. When you show something as you've already done this and here's the proof or here's the the results of our experiments and this shows over and over and test results have proven so then blah, blah, blah. In order for those test results to have been tried or practiced, they had to have been thought of in the mind and they were pictured in the mind. How do I do this to make this happen? And in a slow process, you did one littler thing to make another thing happen that causes another reaction. So it causes another reaction that happens to formulate a memory in the brain of the human mind part. And then that becomes able to be used as a variable on top of everything you've ever done. So it compiles on top of each other. So as science has gone on, more people have had vivid minds and more people have had you know, sinister minds, more people have had crooked minds, more people have had righteous and lovely minds, whatever. And all those combinations all create more variables. Now, with science talking about genes and genetics and stuff like that, they understand certain amounts because they had to picture it, they had to see it, they had to create it. They, it so your body starts working a certain way because your mind can picture it. Once your mind can picture something, it can do it. Once you can imagine yourself doing something, it's way easier to do it because you can't do it without imagining yourself doing it unless you accidentally do it. And then when you accidentally do it, unless you try to do it again, it's still not easy. Think about it. So as science goes on and telling people stuff about genes and genetics, it seems to be so. But really, wouldn't you really realize that the fact is most families eat the same diet? So the reason that you'll get the same disease that your mom had is because you ate the same diet most of your life. And you usually, usually, have a sort of a similar diet, sort of a similar intake until you get to be a certain age and either you take it upon yourself to change your diet or you eat about the same kind of thing, you know, like until you're 18 or you move out or whenever. Some people like they eat the same kind of diet and when it's on their own, they go to a worse diet because they don't know how to cook maybe and they, they eat fast food or take out all the time. So realize that it's not hereditary. There's never been a genetic disease, maybe very few. All genetic diseases, with, with, the, with the exception of, like I said, a few, are because of the diet, not because of the genetics. The genetics are just also from the family, supposedly, and so is the diet. When you're raised on a diet, you have a certain thing. If you're t Also, if you're told a certain thing that you are going to have this, you're going to have this, you're going to remember that, and your body will remember it, especially if it's told it enough. So that's basically how it works. Science is somewhat reliable. But science is also somewhat fake. And it's just something that somebody with a very vast mind could picture and try and get results of and use more variables to do the same things over and over again. And it's not like there's no mistakes. But is anything a mistake? No. It's just another possibility. So realize the magnificent potential of all things and trust yourself to make your own decisions, not science. Not even the word spirituality, not a religion, not even anything else. Just take it upon yourself to learn about what is. Okay? Peace.